Yeah. All right, howdy, friends. Guthrie Trap coming to you here. I know two days in a row you guys are uh, going, well, man, he must not have anything to do. Uh, hey, just kidding. So, hey, look, man, I wanted to do a post Rolling Stones post. And so, man, I went to see the Stones last night, and um, for the first time, uh, of course, I'm totally bummed that I didn't get to see them with Charlie Watts. Um, man, that would have just been incredible. I, I just dropped the ball on them coming to Nashville all those times. and But I got to see him last night um, for the first time in my life with Steve Jordan playing drums, which was incredible. He was a perfect fit, and they did a very respectful opening thing with... Um, with uh, um, uh, tribute to Charlie Watts, which which I might try to insert to the beginning of this video if I get slick with my editing, uh, very pre, uh, you know, amateur editing skills. And so, but um, man, I gotta say it was it was incredible. It was like watching, and I mean this with all respect because I love those guys so much, and I think they are the epitome of the original rock stars, man. I mean those guys are to me as cool as it gets. Um, and uh, I've never met uh, Keith Richards. I did get to, to meet Mick Jagger one time at a small dinner party here in Nashville at the uh, Hermitage Hotel down in the Oak Room. Shook hands with him and said hi. And we were sitting at the complete opposite ends of the table, which was kind of funny. But but um, I would love to meet Keith Richards and, and Ron Wood and those guys. But, man, it was like seeing a great bar band with a $10 million production. And I mean that with so much respect. I mean, and that's what made it so cool is... Man, the endings were loose and the parts were loose. Uh, Keith and Ron were filling at the same time. There was licks going on here and licks going on here. And and the tones were cool. And it, just, it was just awesome. I mean, Chuck Lavelle on the keyboards. And like I said, Steve Jordan and uh, Daryl Jones you know, absolutely killed it. Carl Denson from Carl Denson's Tiny Universe playing saxophone and another great saxophone player that was with him. They had horns and the whole nine yards. You guys have all seen them. I've never seen them. So... It was a real treat. It was a treat to be there with Joe Glazier, George Gruen, Greg Voros, um, Nick Druschel, a lot of, you know, legendary Nashville cats from the, oddly enough, I get thrown into these situations of being uh, there with these guys that are, you know, friends of mine, but I go, now I'm here with the, all the greatest repairmen and the owners of these music stores. And it's just, you just never know what's going to happen in this, in this town. So I was supposed to go see Joe Bonamassa and those guys on Saturday night. Thank God he was playing both nights because I went and saw Joe Friday and then I got to catch the Stones on Saturday. So we had a private suite and everything, which was which was very cool. You kind of want to be in the crowd when you see a band like that. I mean, but, but I still got the energy of it. It was kind of nice to be able to sit in my own little seat with drinks and food and all that stuff. I mean, I'm not complaining by any means. Life is good. So... Um, the guy that hooked us up with that was actually uh, a guy that was in the opening band uh, for the Stones called the Ghost Towns. And so anyway, long story there. But anyway, this isn't going to be a long video. I wanted to, I promised that I would show you what the Russ Paul telly sounded like with some overdrive on. And that was a pretty heavy overdrive. And like I always say, no extra charge for mistakes. Uh, because the way I play, that's just kind of how I play, man. I mean, every once in a while... There's something that's just not perfect. Uh, we all know that. But um, uh, this uh, time I was playing through this venue ram, John Shanks Overdrive, that my friend, I told you my friend Tracy uh, Farmer in New Orleans gave me that pedal. And I'm just finally digging out, digging up some pedals and stuff. And so I got a whole other pedal board I found with a bunch of other effects. I'm going to be doing some videos and stuff. But thanks to the guys that um, also that donated a little bit of, of cash. That goes straight to my friend Monica, who's an amazing videographer. She's been a friend of mine for a long time. She's she's 24 years old, and she's just really, really good at what she does. And so we are shooting a lot of stuff. We got some amazing stuff the other day uh, that I'm going to be showing you guys, and I think you're really going to love it. We're, we're tweaking it right now and just doing some stuff. You know, we're holding back a lot of stuff here to be able to release um, at the same time and do a proper release of some content and stuff. So I'm really, really excited, guys, about where this is all developed and not to talk about my own stuff all the time, but you guys have helped me get there, man. I mean, I, I just the experience of doing this stuff, getting more comfortable, you know, in front of the camera over the years and as I've done more interviews and stuff like that and, and just, you know, I feel like um, 20 years in Nashville, 
the experience of playing the guitar, but also the relationships that have been built and the street cred and kind of, you know, my little bit of a reputation or whatever around this town has now enabled me to now just get started. I mean, this is really when you just get started is now. So I'm excited. I got a good group of folks helping me and I got a good, uh, you know, good Rolodex of people in my phone that I can start doing some collaborating with. I've talked to a few people. I'm not going to mention their names now, but had a couple great conversations a couple days ago with some guys that you know that, that I'm going to be doing some uh, some collaborating with, some interviews, some playing, just some kind of behind the scenes of what our life's like here uh, as a working musician in a bustling music city, which Nashville certainly is now more than ever. So I just wanted to give you guys a post Rolling Stones show post and that's what this is um more to come on that and so uh yeah this is the rust paul that was the the back pickup on the rust paul this thing man i mean the 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 front pickup you know um <laughs> check out the links below I, I guess i gotta say that if you're gonna be a part of the youtube uh club <laughs> but anyway man thank you guys so much have a great week and um we'll see y'all real soon all right bye yeah, man.